Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince, and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average Joe. Just like my dad intended when he spent the better part of his life collecting drink recipes, we're going to make some for you now. Yeah, and we're Average Joe's, so we try to taste as many as we can, and we bring you the ones that we think taste the best. So sit back, enjoy, and please try this at home. All right, Vince, I am going to be making a Blue Lagoon. So what are you making, Vince? I'm going to make a drink called the Miami Vice and I'm going to do it in a very average show simple way, which is not for the purists, but I think you're going to like it. It's a, it's a very tropical poolside drink. You'll see. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to get started. Three ingredients here. Um, we're going to be utilizing blue curacao, kind of for the flavor, but mainly for the color. Just like most of the times you use blue curacao, it's a lot of times for the color. Right. It gives you that effect. So this is the blue part of the blue lagoon. So we're going to do... <laughs> Is that Ben and White like that? That was good. I like that. So we're going to do an ounce per drink of blue curacao. So you're going to get a little bit of the flavor, but there's quite a bit of lemonade in there. So. Well, and it's an orange, so citrus, citrus, that's good. Yeah, it works out pretty good. And we're making two drinks, so I'm going to put two ounces in there. And we're going to put an ounce of vodka per drink. And I think we just about killed this giant blue ball of vodka, but I think we're going to... But it is it. blue, so that really works out well. I mean, that's the reason I brought it. I'm trying to just keep in the theme. Wow, look at that. We have more vodka, folks. Nope, that is absolutely perfect. That's two ounces of vodka. We consider that one a dead soldier right there. When you run a show like this, you have vodka. <laughs> Lots of vodka. And we're going to do four ounces of lemonade per drink. So I've got eight ounces of lemonade here. And we're gonna shake this cocktail as soon as I get the top part of it. And now I have it, so now we can shake the drink. And here we go. All right, there we go. So we're gonna distribute this equally between the drinks. That is a gorgeous color. It's blue. That's exactly what it looks like if you were in a lagoon. That was blue. That, All right. Especially if it's that shade blue. Exactly, and this is a tropical drink, which means we should have a tropical umbrella, a couple of cherries on there, and we also want straws. So that is a blue lagoon. Which is very reminiscent of a blue Hawaii. Yep, and it looks like that, yeah. Because of the, the curacao. Cheers, exactly right. Well, there's not a lot going on there smell-wise, huh? Nope. It's good. Yeah, that's good. I like that. It tastes like a hard lemonade with a little bit of extra orange flavor. That's a yeah. great way to describe it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's actually really light. This is good. This is, you know what, this is way better than a Coors Light. Way better than a Coors Light. <laughs> I would drink that again. All right, what do you got, Vince? I'm going to try to make a drink called, well, I'm going to successfully make successful. a drink called the Miami Vice. I like the confidence. Uh, that is something that you get in Vegas, you get in the Caribbean. It's uh, for some reason, not real popular around here. Half pina colada, half strawberry daiquiri, not complicated in theory, but it's actually sort of a pain in the booty to make. So because we're average shows, we're gonna do something that we don't normally do. We're gonna use pre-mixes, okay? Because if you try to make a pina colada from scratch and you try to make a daiquiri from scratch, by the time you get around to mm. mixing them together, you're gonna have some very thin drinks. On this one, the freezer is your friend. I like my freezer. If you're smart, what you'll do is you'll get it into a Ziploc bag and you'll plan ahead and you'll figure out a way to have it the right consistency when you put it all together. If you're not smart like me and you're going to try to make it on the fly, what you're going to want to do is make one, stick it in the pitcher, throw it in the freezer, and then make the other half and put it together. That's what we're about to do. Or get a friend to help you. Or get a friend to help you. And that's the truth. I mean, if you're, yeah. if you're going to make something like this at a party, tell your friend to bring oh, yeah. a blender, mix two at the same time. Most people don't have two blenders. We're not going to use two blenders. We're going to try to make this the way you would make it at home, theoretically. Mm. Let's see what happens. And if you did at a party, it would be kind of cool because you could almost make it part of the show or like as you're pouring it and right. with your Don Johnson jackets and whatnots. Which, you know, I, I, if I could have come up with a Cadillac like Tubbs drove for this show, I would have. Hmm. Just saying. Couldn't. So, we're going to follow the directions on the label. In this particular instance, we're looking at a cup and a half of ice. Mm -hmm. We're looking at four ounces of the pre-mix. Per drink? Per drink. Per drink. And realistically, not a lot of rum. 
one and a half ounces of rum per drink. When you're looking at something that's almost a half a quart, one and a half is not super powerful. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. I'm just going to stand still while I do one of these numbers again. And there it is. Okay, move. Okay, good. And here's another tip too. The second drink that you make is going to be thinner. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the drink that we made first. It's been in the freezer. We're going to layer these things into a glass. Now Eddie was suggesting that it might be easier if you had two people, depending on if you. If you're making two drinks and your friend gets a second drink half the time, I think that you're entitled to ask them to help you put one of their drinks together. Yeah, but there's a little water. Let's get rid of that. And here's why we have two friends. We want to hold it at a nice angle there. Right, so we're going to try to get this in there. We're going to build a little bit of a base of the thicker one. And then we're going to get in and try to do them at the same time. And that... It's a pretty decent. That's a cool looking device. drink. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna twist this around so you can see it over there. Yeah, that's very cool looking. Yeah, and it really having a friend hold that it just it makes it so much easier. It does. Sometimes you happen to find another one in the freezer that is prepared that. ahead of time. That's beautiful. It's like the carbonara effect, but reverse. That's that's that's. This is planning. <laughs> And I'll be honest with you guys, what happened was I did it wrong the first time. We had a good one that we stuck in the freezer, so let's just not go there. And there you have it. Here's the Miami Vice. Awesome. Um, serve with a straw. Do you want a parasol? Do you want to just taste it? Don't swirl these up because you really have two different drinks here. You really, you've got a daiquiri and a pina colada. Those are two beautiful things. Keep them that way. So guess what happens <laughs> when you have straws? Look at straws. Oh, no, go ahead. I just I got excited because I saw a straw. <laughs> Miami Vice. Very cool. I'll be Don. Cheers. Be, what was Jan Michael Vincent? What was his name? Tubbs. Tubbs. I, I knew that because you said earlier, otherwise I forgot. So, cheers. There's a pina colada. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. And it's a premix, but you know what? In a drink like this, go for premixes. Yeah. Don't go crazy. You're an average show. We're an average show. We're average shows. We're very average show ish. Um, and I just don't think that you can, unless you have, like a bars have those machines that are churning in the background, right. keeping it, yep. they can do it. At home, you're not going to be able to do it. That's like an adult Slurpee. Bingo. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you liked what you saw today, we'd ask you to do a couple things. If you wouldn't mind, you're on YouTube already, so go ahead and hit like. Please leave some comments to let you know if you tried this. Um, get a friend. Try this. This is yeah. really cool. A friend helps. Friends help. <laughs> Especially when you get mad at yourself and they calm you down. Walk them off the ledge. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are on Facebook. Please go over there. We actually are very active on Facebook. I think it says we respond within a couple hours. I saw that on there, so that's pretty good. Vince and Lisa put some great content up there, funny stuff. Check us out. And then please share. We'd like to get these videos out to as many people as possible so we can help people learn how to make some great drinks. We have a blog, AverageShowDrinks.com. We are on Instagram, again, Average Show Drinks. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter, Average Joe drinks. And please drink responsibly. Come back soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.